Hey guys, just a little bit of a life update. Kind of like a blog update again. I don't know, what is this, number three? I can't remember. It's been so long, I don't do them very frequently because this channel isn't supposed to be like a huge blog channel. I mean, let's face it, my, my, my YouTube channel is like a bit of a hodgepodge of stuff at times. I'm sorry, I apologize, but, uh, you know, it's stuff that I think is cool. Um, and most of the time, you know, like, uh, you know, 80% of the time, 90% of the time, when I put a YouTube video up, I'm in it, you know, in some way, or at least I produced it or created it. Well, yeah, that part's true. So, anyways, long story short, I just wanted to catch up with you guys and, um, let you know what I've been up to. Well, um, there's big things. I wish I could tell you a lot of stuff, but I can't, you know. Some things I actually can't tell you. Yeah, seriously, I can't tell you. Top secret. But, that's the way it is. Anyways, I know there's been a huge break in making videos, and it's just, it's just difficult to work the whole thing out. Um, I mean, a, a lot of it does come down to, to money, and it's stupid things, like, and, and Kelly... If you're watching, please do not donate again. I, I, lo I love you, man. Okay, Achille, I love you, all right? But, you know, you're like the only person that donates, by the way. But but, but I don't care. Um, don't do it again. At least not because of this, anyways. Because you always do when I bring this up. But, I mean, money matters. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of things I can't create on my own for my videos. Uh, I mean, you know, there's, there's things I can. But, uh, you know, like I need a dress for this one costume scene. Yes, I need a dress. I mean, you know, I'm not even going to go into any details, but see, I mean, yeah, what do I say about that? You know, there's certain things that I need. Well, actually, like a sparkly, like, you ever, I don't know if, you, see, I'm dating myself really bad. On TV, there used to be a, 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 go, a show called Solid Gold, and my parents used to just watch the heck out of that show. Um... And it's the solid gold dancers, and you had these like women with the sparkly dresses. Well, I need I need a sparkly uh, dress. Um, uh, you know, there, but there's a lot of props like that. My point is, there's a lot of props like that that I need to actually film a video because you know it, it's like it's one of those things. You know, you it, you need that one main thing or or whatever to make it all come together. And yes, some things can be made. I can create I can create things to a degree. I can modify things to a degree. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to make a dress or anything like that. You know, it's just not, it's not something I'm going to do. So, uh, things like that really do slow down, uh, making new videos. And, and the thing is, and this is about my life as well, um, I've gone through a couple of job changes. I tend to change my job. I'm like the jack of all trades guy. Like, I'm, I'm, uh, a jack of all trades, master of none, which is, holds truth for me, actually, um. I, I'm pretty good at doing all kinds of things, but, you know, when you go through your life, you uh, go through changes, and you, you know, you get out of school, and you don't know what you want to do. You know what I mean? I never went to college. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I didn't want to go to college, especially when I didn't know what I wanted to go to college for, and I really wasn't into school in the first place. And, you know, now I'm an adult. I'm old-ish, and I know what I want to do. I want to make movies for a living. I don't care how. I don't care if I'm the guy, you know, writing up ideas. I don't care, you know. I can do that. I just got done watching Stargate SG-1 again, and that show was on the air for 10 seasons, by the way. Stargate SG-1. 10 seasons. And if you said to me, hey, man, could you make a successful TV show? I'd be like, well, yeah, because I've watched this whole, I've watched the whole season, and I know exactly what episodes bored me. And no offense to the creators, because Stargate SG-1 is an amazing show, but I can tell you what really didn't entice me as much, and then I can tell you the things that were awesome. You know, the concept of going through a Stargate that transports you to other worlds is a lot to work with. And what did I enjoy the most about watching that show? Seeing what's on the other side of the Stargate! And I wanted to see weird things. I want to see, like, blob aliens, all kinds of weird Star Trek kind, you know, that weird stuff. I want to see that kind of stuff. And the show had that, but it could have had more. And I think that's kind of what the Stargate Universe show, uh, I think it only lasted about two seasons. Well, 
I think that's pretty much why that show failed. And here I am blabbing on about stuff, and I'm supposed to be talking about it. So anyways, my point is, as far as jobs, yes, I would love to have a job doing something with video, um, you know, in any way, shape, or form. That's actually one of my ultimate goals here. Um, but right now, I've been doing all kinds of things. I was working for a place called W Mart. For a while that was actually like five or six years ago now actually um and there i was unloading trucks for a living which is terrible um they start you at eight dollars and twenty cents an hour and i was actually there for a year and a half now at the end of that time i started to build up a lot of pressure um because i kept on putting the fact that i wasn't making money like pushing it down and down and down, and I'm slumming it, I'm slumming it, I'm slumming it, I'm trying to make it work, you know, and it built up so much pressure that I blew up, and I'm not that kind of guy, I'm not, I, I'm, I swear to God I'm not, but after a year and a half of struggling to pay my bills, making no headway, you know, living in a crappy, tiny apartment, which I still am, but the point is, it builds up pressure, and you, you, you can't pay your people that, you can't expect people to work for $8.20 an hour, you know, 40 cent raises or whatever it is, but it's not, which isn't uh, that's a great raise, but when you're making crap to begin with, it it doesn't doesn't cut it. So, anyways, after working there for a while, uh, I moved on to the uh, printing business, which is something that I actually did prior. So I was kind of like moving up in the world. I was going up in the twelve dollar range. Um, so I'm making like twelve something now. It's a big. I mean, when you're making only like eight or nine bucks an hour, and you move up to twelve, it's it's, it's better. Um. So I'm doing printing. You know, you got heavy web rolls. Um, you know, you got to learn how to make the machine, uh, you know, print all this stuff uh, and stuff like that. It would probably be hard for someone to learn if they don't know, like, mechanically wise things like this. But it's not – for me, it's – you know, I just do it. You know, they just tell – well, here's here's the plate. Here's the printing press. Here's this and here's that. You know, and I'm like, oh, I see how that works. I got it. I got it. You know what I mean? That's the way I am. I can do it. And you'd think a guy like that would be successful and make lots of money. My grandfather always told me that. You know, he always said, work real hard and you'll be successful. Well, guess what? That's not the case anymore. Anyways, after doing that job for a little over a year, I moved again to my current... No, that's not true. I actually had a strange time in between. Now, if people are always taking adult babies or, like, unemployed, guess what? I've only collected unemployment twice, and I only got one paycheck the one time because I got a job right away. And then the other time, I, I think I might have gotten maybe, like, a month to two months of unemployment. So, if you – you know, people that, like, are always like, oh, man, I'm paying taxes. So I, I'm going to tell you right now, I pay my dues. I work hard. I've worked a lot of overtime already. You know, I've actually worked for at, at nine bucks an hour and worked like, you know, like an 80 hour work week. I've, I've done it. I brought home like a thousand dollar paychecks because of how much I worked. And then I've looked at the taxes that came out and it's like, <gasps> so I pay my taxes. I am a regular person like everybody else in this world that has to go to work. Unfortunately, I don't like my jobs, but I have to do it. So I dig digress. I'm getting all over the place. Did that job for a while. Um, after about a, about a year and all that, I had to move on. Um, I just – I knew it wasn't going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? I'm at another job that's not going to go anywhere, and I it just – it wasn't – you know what I mean? If your job isn't really going to go anywhere, like I need 20 to 25 bucks an hour is kind of what I'm aiming for. You know? That didn't work. So, you know, because that's not – you know, you're not going to go from 12 bucks to 20 to 25 bucks an hour. It's just not, not going to happen. I'm sorry. Um, so – I actually was working in a cabinet making company. Yes. So we were making cabinets. Um, I was actually doing the finishes. Um, I mean, I would have to sand stuff down and whatnot and this and that. But uh, a lot of what I would do would be putting the finishes on. But sometimes I would antique them. So I'd actually take the um, these products and, and actually paint them. I mean, and some of it's very specific, you know, uh, for like uh, – I forget what they were called. It was like a fancy name, like finials or whatever, something something similar to that. And there were there were some different ones out there that you do too. And you you know you 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 basically paint them to make them look antique. Um, some of it is simple, but 
it was definitely something to learn, which was interesting. It was totally different from anything I've ever done before. There was one problem, and I don't mean any offense to anyone. Um, any offense to anyone. And this is actually, this isn't the only problem, but um, everyone spoke Spanish there. And I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak other languages. I speak English. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not resentful. You know, I'm not angry. But I felt like like this. I was like, hello? Hello? I felt like I was all alone, and I was all alone. Except for that one other guy that also spoke English that was not happy. He was a grumpy guy, and he would he was the only one there for, for me to like ever talk to. I didn't fit in. I didn't feel good. And that was at 14 bucks an hour. So I'm moving up, but I'm not happy. I don't fit in. <sighs> that job really wanted to hire me, you know, and I had to be like, no, no, sorry, no. And they're like, well, would you stay if we did? No, <laughs> no, sorry, it's not working. So cabinet place, pfft, forget about it. Um, after that, let's see now. I think I finally got into where I'm at now. Um, at the chocolate factory. So, I am an Oompa Loompa. I make chocolate for a living, yes. Um, I'm finally getting up there in money. Um, I shouldn't talk about where I'm currently working, I suppose. But, uh, I'm not in the 20 to $25 range, but I'm getting close to the 20 range. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't promise that I'm very likely to hit the 20 to 25 range super soon you know it'll probably take three to four years just to hit the 20 and that's if i'm lucky that's just a guess doesn't it, it doesn't include the fact that maybe i'll transfer somewhere else you never know but uh ultimately i don't plan on staying where i'm working forever now because i'm currently employed at this location and i do work with food i want to stress something right now i don't wear diapers at work okay I'm not going to say I've never had a job in which I wore diapers under my clothing. But I will not wear diapers in an area where I'm working with food unless I was actually incontinent and needed them. If I did, if I actually did need them and I was incontinent, then I think there's some leeway here. I mean, come on. But I understand the fact that what I do is something that I do for me. And if I need to keep it to be something that's in my private time as well, then that's what I'll do. So... Anyways, I just wanted to stress that. It's very important that my work is professional. My work is my work, okay? I, I, okay, look into my eyes. Okay, get that? Work. My work is separate from my home life. At work, it's all professionalism. It's do the job, get the job done. Now, that applies to any job. Even if I was in some sort of video stuff job, or, you know, whatever. You know, work is work. My home life is my home life, okay? I wanted to stress this enough. I don't want to lose my job. And this is because I haven't talked about it, but I have lost a job before. Basically because of being an adult baby. Um, and I'll, I'll just mention this really quick. It was one job that I was doing while I was working at W Mart. Um, it was actually a pharmaceutical company, and you would put together packages of uh, testing equipment. And um, I told someone about my videos. I didn't tell them details. They just bothered me so much. So I said, okay, look, look, look. I don't want a big deal about this, but I'm going to let you see my web channel, uh, my YouTube channel. So I said, here's my name. It's Baby Mitchie. Um, you can find me on YouTube before you know it. Everyone at the place is, wa you know, watching my videos on the parking lot and all that, and 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 people are up being offended, of, you know, because I'm an adult baby and wear diapers, um, and they're talking about their work, which you know they shouldn't really be, and I get pulled into the office, and there they are staring me down. <clears throat> Mitchell Shelton, actually, they're not really they they weren't even looking like that. It was more like, <laughs> you know. But um, they are obviously saying, you can't do that and talk about it and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I wasn't, and I wasn't. Um, but I can tell you that I didn't lose the job right then and there, right that moment. So don't think that. But I know that's one of the major reasons that I lost that job. So if you think that uh, adult babies 
there's no discrimination against adult babies, you're wrong. I'm not going to stand here and say, or sit here and say, but that adult babies are discriminated left and right and this and that because they're not, you know. But we do get discriminated against. It's not as cut and dry as everybody thinks, you know. People find out about your diapers and all of a sudden you have people looking at you differently, treating you differently. We – it exists. It's – I know people might not believe me, but it's true. And yeah, you can blame me for being public about being an adult baby, but <sighs> come on. I don't go running around in public in my diapers. I know, I know, yes, I wear diapers on YouTube, but I don't really do excessive crotch shots. I'm not pooping and peeing in diapers on YouTube. I mean, I like to think that the internet has a certain amount of free reign to it. You know, you can do a couple things on the internet to express yourself that you wouldn't do when you, you know, walked into the supermarket. You know, because I'm not going to walk into the supermarket and be dancing around in a diaper. You know, like the one guy that went at to a, 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 a furry convention um, and was just wearing just a, you know, a diaper fully exposed. I mean, you know, certain things you shouldn't do. You know, I get that. But discrimination on adult babies exists. I mean, it's not the biggest problem in the world, but it's not right. And I know um, the big reason I lost my job is because of that. I, I'm not naming the company or anything like that, but, um, you know, it happens. Anyways, uh, so anyways, that's it. You know, right now I make chocolate. That's right. I know all about making chocolate. Oompa, 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 dee, do, 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 do. I, I would love to go on the PA system at work and, and just feed that through. You know, could you imagine? Everybody in the chocolate factory is, you know, making chocolate, packaging chocolate, and it's like, oompa, doompa, doompa, dee, do, 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 another puzzle for you. And everybody's like, <laughs> oh, man, I would love to go into work and uh, wear, like, an actual Oompa Loompa co You know, I'm going to do this now. It, this is going to happen, you know, like it, I, it, I always, every idea I ever have comes true someday. Like I have a back to the future parody video and it's brilliant. Um, it's literally brilliant. And I wanted to have it done in 2015 for, you know, for 30 years and I didn't, but you know, it's going to happen. The point is, uh, yeah, one day I'm probably going to dress up like an Oompa Loompa. I mean, I'm, I know I'm too big, but, um, I can make myself look smaller, theoretically, if I'm in front of a screen. Um, I'm sure I can buy an Oompa Loompa costume. I'm sure of it. And don't be surprised to see cross-dressing now and then and stuff. You gotta... It's not sexual for me. If, if you ever see me wearing a dress or cross-dressing, I look bad. Um, you know, I, I'm not attractive in general, and I'm not attractive as a female. You know, I'm just a guy in a dress. Um, it's like uh, a lot of old English... Uh, comedy you know they would have that oh 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 i never oh you know that kind of that kind of thing where you know it's a joke um and that's that's kind of where it would be for me so as i prattle and ramble on um more videos will be coming as i said money can be a big issue with getting the props and and this and that and juggling my free time there are some gonna really cool things happening though in the future that will blow your mind um and I, I can't talk about them. I can't. I'm sorry. And, you know, I'm just trying to make things better for everybody. No, I'm not like this messiah guy like, you know, Kanye West is. But uh, I am trying to make a difference. Some people do think I am. Some people don't. Some people hate me. Some people hate my mustache. I don't know what to say. I love that comment. That was one comment. I hate you and I hate your mustache. And I'm just like... <laughs> I hate you and uh, and your mustache. <laughs> you know, I love you, man. Thanks. <laughs> you go. You're entitled to your opinion. Awesome. So, anyways, I guess that's it for now, guys. I gotta I gotta end this before I ramble on. Ramble on, baby, 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 baby. I sing my song.
in the darkest depths of Morda. Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, 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 it's gonna hit the floor! Oh, oh, God! Ah!